Hello and welcome to Chicagoland. We are in the Silver Crown this time around. It is a new season on iRacing and we are starting it off after uh, a race in Arca with a follow-up of Silver Crown. So uh, we, <laughs> I kind of made myself a little bit of a uh, queue setup, messed with the fuel and uh, the weight jacker and stuff a little bit <laughs> just uh, minimal things see if I can I don't know a little bit faster I don't know a darn thing about making setups but I also uh, adjusted the race setup a little bit so that way uh, I'd have the right amount of fuel in that one as well so mostly just the default setup though nothing too crazy weight jacker fuel adjustments so I feel like the default had just a little bit too much fuel in it than necessary uh, we'll see how this goes probably not gonna finish too well here but that's alright it's all for fun and uh, the silver crown is very fun not sure how this uh, race is gonna turn out at Chicagoland Seems like it's fully flat out, which could leave us with some, you know, uh, super speedway style racing. That's what I'm searching for in my brain. One more but hopefully it won't be so bad. We'll see how it, uh, how it goes. Not looking like our Q time is too great. Like I said, didn't really expect it to be. Car in front has just posted at 30.6. I think our second lap here will be a little bit better, though. You have about one lap just a smidge. <laughs> We're going to be starting at the back, so I don't know a darn thing about what I'm doing here. But uh, that was my best lap yet, so at the very least, qualifying a little bit better. I've always heard that, you know, you can get away with the uh, default setups in this car just fine. And then I, I do this and I'm like last place. So I don't know, man. That's the end of we'll the do uh, put the race setup in. Found 54 with the fuel. It's good. That's what I arrived at, right? Hold on. 54. I swear I had. Hmm. That'll be enough, right? I didn't mess that up. I don't know. I guess we'll get in the car and find out. 71. Yeah, that should be enough. We'll have draft too during the actual race here. Well, we're starting at the back. I racing says that is the estimated SOF. Race Lab says 3.2k. So very more accurate there. We are uh, showing up as one of the slowest. But hopefully, we'll be able to uh, work our way forward. We'll see. Got a little bit of weight jacker in there. Get this thing turning. Just a little bit. No tight changes allowed during the track. Is Treat him right. The air temp is 73 Fahrenheit. 67 laps. Follow car number 08 in the outside lane. Let's just put that right. There. Let's see how this goes. Monday's one of the only times you can really get the silver crowned a race. So happy to be here tonight. Not sure what the racing's gonna look like. 
I know we got the old tire model on this thing still, so that could affect how the uh, car evolves over time. Plus, the car just does evolve a lot over time. The Silver Crown specifically, as it burns off fuel, the handling gets different. So we'll see how that feels. Get ready, going green. I just noticed how far back we are from the pace car. Why are we so far back? All right, Colton, Get ready. I guess we're. Are we going? That was a weird start. Green, 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 flag. green flag. This guy's just gonna jump the start, I guess. That was weird. You're in the middle. Three wide. Prefer not to be Clear three wide right now. Wide. Just Still starting. Clear inside. Car inside. Oh my gosh, that three is getting very unsettled down there. Still there at the bottom. Keep high. Clear. Start in charge. Let's get settled in. Stay high. There's a car on the low. Bit of a weird start. Not sure what that was about. I had the, ch the people high. muted, so I don't know if there was a reason for it or not. Clear. B17. Get down to the bottom. In my eye up ahead. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. The leader was just down outside the tweet. Sixteenth place. The guy behind has just done a thirty point eight. The car ahead has just done a thirty point five. Or so good. Car feels fine, so I didn't completely destroy the handling or anything by making adjustments. As slight as they are. They're making me nervous up there, though. They're driving really close to one another. You know, these cars are small, so maybe it looks worse than it is, but... Sure, if you want by, let me know. I'll let you have it. I'm just riding, honestly. I guess, uh, I guess this is kind of super speedway style. We're kind of just riding around, it sounds like. Pretty easy to hold that bottom lane. With how much grip we have. Okay, Colton. The next car is outside. That's your best lap in this session. The Go line has just done a 30.4. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Clear up, top. Single file line right now. Probably for the best. P15. That lap time was 30.4. Good lap. That's your best in the session. Lots of movement up there, despite being essentially single file. Oh! I think they touched there. 13 goes up the track. I feel like they're gonna wreck. I don't know if we got blocking going on or what, but they're just swerving all over. Oh my goodness. Coming at me. I'm just going to hold this bottom line and Clear move forward if we can, I guess, if guys are moving up off the bottom. Good angle on the corner. Or a better one, at least. Line, maybe hit the apron there. That lap was at 
That's a big lifting. Got plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel, Chief says. So that's good. Was a little bit concerned about that. In case the uh, fuel calculator was a little off. It's getting a little bit close. This nine's having some handling issues or something. Up now. Stay low. You've just done a Oh, pushing up ahead. Keep low. Keep low. Still there. I don't want to get on that transition too much. I feel like that could really unsettle the car if we're not careful. 15 had a moment. I don't know if they ran into each other or what. That was scary. We are moving forward. Oh my gosh, he's trying to hit us. What are you doing? Why do they keep turning down like that? Gotta get away from this guy. Oh my gosh, why are these guys running into each other so much ahead? Oh, he's like turning down. Okay, I'm coming down here. Giving that guy as much room as possible because he was pinching really hard. Felt like. I don't know if it's intentional or what, but it's not very comfortable. Good, good angle. Protecting that bottom line. Makes sense. Oh, looks like he's like bump drafting them. That 15 is. I'm not sure these uh, these cars are so good for bond drafting. Doesn't look like that would line up to me. It's like it comes to the point at the out the back end of this car. If you ask me. I'm sure, if I would be wanting to roll those dice. I'm just hoping he leaves the bottom open at some point, but it hasn't been happening. Okay. Oh god, where is he? Guess we're good. Well, he got spun out. We have to get around this guy, I think. He's kind of off pace. I don't know what it is. He's got like a full tank of fuel or something. He's not moving very fast. the bottom open. Still inside. Keep high. It's gonna get tight. Stay high to the car on the low side. Take it, Brandon. Be clear inside. Oh, he's inside. drifting up. Clear inside. That was scary. I thought they were going to wreck. Teams in the apron. Oh, 
Just really stuck back here right now. Oh, the 13's drifting up in front of that guy. Oh, this is very tight racing. Clear up top. I'm a little tight right now, but I think I, I think that might be good. I think the car will get looser as the fuel burns off, so car outside. it's cutting really close behind us. Still there. So I think maybe our car will get better as time goes on if we just accept that it's a little tight right now. This is a much more super speedway flavor than I was hoping for, but still not so bad. You have to do a little bit of lifting. A little bit to it. A little more, bit more to it. I think I gotta loosen this thing up. Even though it's, I mean, it's, it just might be too tight right now. Gosh, this guy's cutting it so close. I got clear of him. Feeling a little bit more turn now. Okay, maybe we do stick with it. Maybe we stick with it. Car will start start handling better later. Trying to follow their draft as they're drifting up toward the wall. Better angles on the corner as well, which is nice. See a couple guys getting pretty tight up there. I assume that's why they're going toward the wall. Although I'm going toward the wall because I'm trying to follow the draft. Maybe that's all it is. On the apron, looking a little unsettled. The lap time was at 30.6. That's feeling okay. I think it's getting better. Feels still good. Okay. Just making sure. Catching up to these guys ahead. E12 for us right now. We've moved ahead quite a bit, so that's good. Team pushing a little bit off that bottom line. Get to our inside. Filing behind him. Inside. Or we'll get past, I guess. Stay high. 
I lifted off and that gave him a, enough run to come get us. Big deal though. Long way to go still. As long as we can keep up in this draft, we're fine. Oh! He gets turned. Thirteen gets turned. Not sure where the guy head's going, but he's chopping down in front of me. Okay. Good. You know, if you got back in lane, we might be able to head back up with them. I'm just kidding. We know you guys don't think like that. Hopefully we can catch up here again. I think we should be able to. We're not that far off. Oh, we got height there. Otherwise, going all the way here, I guess, getting his best angle in the corner. Sorry, Dion. Well, I gave you the bottom and second lane, so. I think we're good and caught up. Not too far off from that green car at the end of that pack ahead. It really does look like some guys are getting pretty tight up there. Three wide, I think. Yikes. Guys going to the apron. Gosh, how much you got running to from behind? Just about halfway. I think that is pretty much halfway. It's interesting. We got like a two-car yeah, breakaway. I, fine, Brent. I didn't want an opportunity to try to win the race either. Two-car breakaway up front. That's a DEI in early uh, 2000s, I guess. Crafting and pulling away from the field <laughs> at a super speedway. Meanwhile, back here, we are very much in a pack race. Wars on the apron up there, right in front of all of it. That's very scary. Oh! Dio was checking up. Wide. I don't know how you don't listen to your damn spotter. Oh, I don't know how that wasn't a wreck. Oh my god, they're running into each other again. How did we survive that? No idea. They're wrecking, though. That's probably a caution. Or not? Oh, don't let us lose this draft. We gotta get caught up. As could get, he still wrecked himself. Gotta get caught up to this draft. Well, nobody's spawning on top on that, so. Barely hanging on. I really wish the 18 would take the shortest way around. Yeah, sorry again, Joe, but DL doesn't know what three wide means, so he doesn't want to give room. They're angry. Sounds like. I was giving you as much as I could, but. 
I think we're in the draft. Still would like to be a little bit closer though to feel comfortable. So good to know not much have changed. Hey, that wasn't you. That was a good race. Welcome back, Tommy. P9 after getting around some wrecking guys. That lap was at 30.7. Alright, we are back caught up, it looks like. Do we want to be caught up, though? Because they are looking scary. The 10 way up there. Oh my gosh, where is the 18 going? You just done it, more tight. Whoa, big check up on the bottom. Outside. I get my outside at the last second. It's not ready for that. Stay low. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Big run, heading into the corner. Alright Colton, the next car is Palmer. And we do. Time was 31.0. Not sure. What happens if we run the top for a second? It's actually kind of fast. Really tough to just get around someone on the bottom though, because you got to lift off on exit so hard. That was at thirty-one point two. We're on the high line, I guess. Oh, not when they wrecked though. Right, had to get around that. Clear inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. I don't like this higher line. I don't know. It's probably just me wanting to run the high line like usual, but still inside. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Still there. Clear inside. Still over 20 to go. It certainly feels like we're racing like it's the last lap. Inside. I'm liking being up top though. I think that's better. Still there at the bottom. Eight. Still there at the bottom. Stay high. Making sure they're not wrecking down there. Still inside. Team bobbling in front of us. Still there at the bottom. That last lap was at 30.9. Still inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. The next car is Palmer. Well, they almost weave into each other there. Stay 
are up top, three wide. Right side, two wide. Keep high, clear. Don't know where that guy's going. Still there. You're up top, three wide. You're up top, three wide. Still hold. Right side, two wide. Still there. Still there. Still there. Stay high with the car on the low side. Okay. Keep high. Still there, hold your line. P8. Still there, inside. That's good consistency, keep it up. We're in the top 10, that's good. It almost feels random how much grip I get every corner. I don't know how to explain it. Some corners it feels like I got great grip up top, and other corners it feels like it's super tight. Oh boy. Alright, had to avoid that. Shoot the middle, okay. No drafting help up here anymore, which is unfortunate. Still there, hold your line. It's super tight, unexplainably. No idea why it was tight that time. That wasn't the other times. Some draft again. Kind of. Four up there. Clear. Car inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Car inside. Almost we're clear. Still there. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there, inside. Still there, hold your line. Keep high. Clear. Oh, this is tight racing. Barely talk. Uh, that did not work. I tried to do kind of like a angled on the corner and it did not work. Stay high. Still inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Not that was a that's point nine. Oh the wrecking. Clear car inside. Ooh. We're okay. Sorry, Jason. Oh boy, I'm glad I was on the high side that time. I didn't think you were going to check up that fast. I'm sorry. Uh, they uh, kind of all got squarely in front of me. I didn't have any joys. Yeah, I checked up. So, sorry. Seventh position. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Got gripped that time. Unexplainable. No idea. Inside. Still there. Inside. Clear. Oh, they touch. Car inside. Still there. <laughs> this is crazy. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there, inside. Still there, inside. And we get a top five. We're coming to ten to go. They're touching again. Stay high. You're up top three wide. We're up top three wide. Because of course we are. Save it. I remember that shit. Clear. Sorry, two. I was was pushed up, and I didn't mean to get into you. 
Oh boy. Got ten left to go. Bad grip for you there, Jason. We're good, we saved it. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Oh my goodness. Heart rate through the roof. We're getting bump drafts and a silver crown. Again, I'm not so sure it's a great idea, but we're doing it anyway. Inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there, inside. Oh my god, I feel like we're gonna get wrecked. Clear inside. Inside. Still there at the bottom. I don't know about this bump drafting, man. Don't. Why is he drifting up into me? That gives us a 4x. Appreciate that. Six is off the pace up high. You're in the middle, three wide. Right side, two wide. Clear. Hope we don't have damage from that contact we got. Car inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there, inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside. Car inside. Oh boy, six to go coming up. Keep high, clear, P9. Hey Josh, I'm the back speeder now, I messed my nose up. Ninth place right now. I don't think we have damage. Five left to go. If you're out of the field, that's the brand, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty destroyed. Probably doesn't look bad as mine, though. Sometimes that high line works and it feels real good, but sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what the difference is at, a, in, at any given moment. We get through it. Oh boy. Have you ever? No, I've never. Fuck you, Joe. Classless man, you have to go on the apron. I'll give you room, and you just come up and clobber me. Classless man. Fight me, man. You gotta let a ten car by. Pit road is now open. What did you say? Full course yellow. Pits are open. Boo hoo. Hey Josh, if you're running for points, uh. We run it. We run on Tuesdays. I don't know if you want to be in any interest. Got some classy discourse going on in the chat. The official sprint car on Tuesdays, unfortunately. People blowing up. Yeah, we very lucky we were able to make it through that. I kind of had to uh, do a little bit of navigation. The seas parted just right, thankfully for us. Now we're gonna get a late restart, and I'm sure that's not gonna be any more clean. Oh my gosh. This will be the last green white checkered caution period. God. <laughs> Jeffrey Line, this is making me a little nervous. Trees fine though. Get a green white checkered here. Yeah, I'm set up for sitting in the draft, not doing these sprint races. I think I'll be going straight backwards. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. So we're P5 after dodging that wreck. 
Two guys up front definitely didn't want to see that because they were running away with it. They were far away. Got plenty of fuel in this thing. Jason, do I have nose damage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you had it really early in the race, actually. I'm going to go down here where the track is cooler, maybe get some grip. Cool the tires down. It's not turned up. I mean, it's about a minimal amount of nose damage. Let's we'll see if that does anything at all. Nose damage, but it is bad. I don't even know what I could have nose damage from from before that, but it's in for. <laughs> maybe burn off some of this fuel by uh, dragging the brakes. Lighter car is a faster car when it comes to Silver Crown. Are these single file restarts? I think they might be. It's not closed. I don't know how I got distracted by it. I love it. He wrecked half the field because he tries to pass on the apron and all he has to say is boo hoo. Absolutely classy. Apparently that's what happened there. Some apron passing. That didn't work out somehow. I mean, I got shoved down on the apron once. Can't imagine how. I didn't get any positions. So I, I thought we were in the corner when it happened. Oh, no. He went down there all of his own before he even got to me. And then just drove up and cleaned us out. But, uh, we've moved up quite a ways. Didn't even bother to look. Gotten lucky to some degree, avoiding some messes. And then can't even uh, own up to it. But he sounded so sad about it. <laughs> said boo hoo. I mean, he got the worst end of it. <laughs> he was crying and everything. I don't find, uh, even by running in practice, that, that apron actually saves you any time. It just kind of ruins your one entry. Yeah, otherwise, all of us would have been running it all race long. All right, it is, in fact, single file. All right, so we'll have, to, we'll have to make sure we get ourselves a good jump. This could get weird. Yeah, the only time I'd even consider hitting that apron is if it was, like, qualifying at the end of the second lap or literally on the last lap coming to the line. I wouldn't touch any otherwise. Unless I'm damaged and trying to get out of the way or something like that. Getting lapped by leaders or something like that. Why no one's running by the wall? Are we gonna just gradually move up this way? Here, no one wants uh, anyone to get a jump on them. Pass on the outside. All right. Well, hopefully we can survive the end of this thing. Top five right now, which is crazy. Let's see what happens. Right, how bad is my car? Uh, the front. No, it's all kind of a bad to go funny claim. looking, but I don't know. Like About half the field looks like that, so I think she should be all right. Thank you. Right, car is off. James, your both both front wheels are going right. 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 Not get a good jump up ahead. You've got two laps to go. You're in fourth position. I don't like doing that, but they were not going. Steen's getting loose. The car inside. Clear. Not sure how much grip we have in this thing. We're finding out though. Last lap. Alright, P4. Sixteen gets a little loose off the corner. Holy smokes. Push, push, push. Car inside. Try this high line, he's pushing up. Clear. And gave it a try, but P4, alright, I'll take that. P4. Alright. Oh, I'll definitely take that. Good job. Very good job. All right. 
We survived some seriously sketchy moments. Yeah, I hate we... That was gonna be good without the caution, but... Yeah, I don't like I don't like jumping the restart like that. But he just uh, I was gonna run in the back of him otherwise. I think. Which also maybe is my fault. Just saw the leader go right here. You can see me gunning it up. Eighty-seven, eighty-five. So I guess I'm happy with that. It like 50, I made it. We were actually on the rear tire. So I think it was worth it to let it stay tight. Because I saw some guys were really loose. Like we almost passed the... Who was it? The 16 at the end. Because he was getting loose out of the corner. And I mean we got the job done. 16th to 4th. But here's that uh, last restart. Like he just... Uh, I saw him go and I... He probably couldn't see the leader. So I had to uh, go around him. It feels cheap. I know it's it's not illegal. Especially because, you know, like, look how far back he is from the guy ahead of him. So that's clearly just not a very good jump. But I don't like doing that. Anyway, we will go back and see the contact and such things that happened. The ele oh yeah, the 11 jumping us right from the uh, initial start, but the leader wasn't going yet at this point. So that was a bit of a weirder one. I think he starts going right, like, here. And, uh, to his credit, he doesn't, like, just fly up through. He, uh, waits back. So we will get, uh, a good view of this thing and see what the caution looks like and all the, uh, other incidents that occurred. So we're starting off on lap 10. A rear ending. Not much beyond that. So it just gets turned for no reason. I don't know if he's trying to bump draft from the left rear, but that never works. 12 just unfortunately forced to go through the grass. Yeah, there was like four feet between uh, me and, and Zach there. It uh, made it made my car. And the 13 like hit, gets turned. And that was by the 18. Probably just closed up on him faster than he expected. Doesn't check up. Yeah, I was confused by that because it didn't even. Oh, give me an and then a grip anything, flip. I saw your oh my goodness, Ryan Priest. He ends up upside down. That is yeah, not what he wanted. Line. I was holding my line. So there we had a three wide situation. How did this happen? So, 15's pretty high off the bottom for being the bottom three wide. I'm sure the six expected him to be lower. I don't know how that didn't end up being a big wreck. And the 15, 15 was a little bit of a weapon. He's uh, sliding up into the six. And they kind of come together. If you kind of use this line, a little bit of net code pulling him toward the six. And then somehow that's not a caution. That was the first one we just barely dodged. I was right on his, I mean, side by side. My left front to his right rear, nothing ever happened. We could see that happening, so I knew I kind of had to yeah, go to the left because they were starting to pull each other that way. Just barely able to get around it. Seventeen not hitting the bottom of the track, so the ten turns in on him. I think it's got to do with the rate of close. And then we are just barely able to get below him. Just barely. 
See, I had to do big lift there, but I couldn't just slam on the brakes or we were going to get hit by the 14. You can see he still got pretty close. But we get around it. Somehow that wasn't a big wreck. Uh, Stanton drives in much harder than the 16. Somehow that was not a wreck. <laughs> so many close calls. Uh, that one's tough. I think you, there's kind of like a silent understanding that uh, you give the bottom line a little bit more room than just the lane down here. But the 17 was taking that second lane. You can see that's where all the bottom guys are running in this line. Even though this is technically the second lane, the 17 was crowding him. And, uh, I mean, this guy at least should be looking to his right, make sure that there's no one there before he moves. We get together. Somehow make it. And this is where I had to save the car. Because the 7 drifts up. He's seeing this guy on the apron. So he's justifiably scared up the track. But then I think uh, because he had to like turn right in the middle of the corner, he's drifting all the way up into me. Then I have to save it. I gotta give myself some credit for that. That was a good save. <laughs> that was a pretty darn good save. I can praise myself once in a while, right? Without being conceited. <laughs> Saved my race. Maybe some save the races of a couple of guys behind me too. 7 down the track, and then running into the back of the 15, and then into the wall. Here we're getting bump drafted. Then uh, hit by the 14. Comes off uh, the bottom a little bit. To be fair, I didn't give him very much room. We kind of took up all of the second lane we could. It looks like he hits the apron. Yeah, I think he touches the apron a bit, and it drifts him up. Somehow that's not a caution. So we get lucky again. Appreciate the guy behind for, uh... Oh, that's how this happened. Okay, so... Here's that thing that happens. You go to the apron. It is on you to return to the racing surface safely. James knows that. And so he's keeping him down there. He doesn't want to give up the bottom just because he took the apron to get there. And uh, the 14, instead of lifting off right here, which is what he should have done, so he can get back in line safely, he's being persistent, and then decides, I'm going to enter the corner. <laughs> I'm going to enter turn one on the apron. And for some reason, it doesn't turn down there. I can't imagine why. So that's what causes the humongous wreck the actual first caution of the race that is on the 14. It's aggressive by James, but the fault lies on the 14 because he chose to go down to the apron. He's got to get back onto the off the uh, he has to get back off the apron safely. That's his responsibility. So, James did push the issue. And uh right off the cliff he got pushed sucks for everybody involved we <laughs> somehow dodge another one this is our path of it I didn't even see this happening down there all of a sudden I just saw this happening yep I am <laughs> they're flipping on monitors VR one monitor three monitors what do you run man and we just barely make it through single monitor very lucky I got three monitors, so I got 190 degree field of view. So Very tough to get this thing slowed down right safely as well. Helps. You'll notice I actually don't use very much brake, because if you slam on the brake yeah, with this I car, it'll it'll dive sideways. Hard, or at least it has in the past for me. Maybe it's not like that anymore. Or maybe, uh, or maybe I'm misremembering. But my, uh, my memory with this car is you don't want to slam on the brakes. So I kind of ease onto the brakes, just find a path that I can make my way through, and thankfully it was mostly clear where I was. Got pretty lucky. You can see lots of guys, unfortunately, just get caught up in it. And that's a, a lot of guys taken out right before the end of this thing. 
14 uh, hopping around. 18, getting it right back forward. 14 car, something might be wrong with that thing. It's not looking quite right. Can't put my finger on it, but something maybe isn't right with that car. And there were no incidents to the end. So, we make our way through the field from 16th to 4th in a great finish. I'm uh, very happy with that. Got very lucky on at a number of points. But uh, I will take it. We'll look at the results page here in a moment. Bringing that up right now. Race Lab estimates a 19 I rating gain. The real total here is 19. All right. 32 18 strength of field. It was two splits. We as we were on the top one. The one and the three were kind of a class of their own, leaving the rest of us to fight it out back here. And uh, we get fourth place behind the 16. We unfortunately get the 4X from, uh, I think it was someone hitting us in the corner. So I think it was that tap where the guy, the, I think it was like the 14 or something, hit the apron and came up into us. Was that what happened? Somebody hit the apron and came up and got us, I think, at some point, and that was the incident. But overall able to keep the car under us and uh, get a nice finish. So that will do it. For this one, for Silver Crown, thank you for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed that one. Lots of action. Basically a super speedway. So, always going to be uh, excitement there for fans of that style of racing. And uh, Hope you have a good one. I will see you in the next race. See ya.